<laughs> this is Buffalo. He's our ball python. about habitats, critter care, you can observe behavior, you can learn about life cycles, respecting nature, and so much more. Plus it's fun, cool, and interesting. So you got yourself an emperor scorpion for your classroom and now you want to know how to pick it up. Here's what you do. You grab right behind their stinger and lift up gently and set it on your hand. It's that easy. Emperor scorpions are docile and can live in a community. See how big these claws are? Since they have such big claws, they don't need a strong sting to help kill their prey. They use their claws instead, so their sting is mild and harmless to humans. Emperor scorpions need fresh water. I let the water overflow to help keep the enclosure humid. I've been caring for tarantulas since I was just six years old, and I'm here to tell you it only takes a couple of minutes twice a month. Before I feed her, I'm going to show you how to handle a tarantula. One way to pick up a tarantula is to cup your hands around their legs and cover their eyes so they're not scared, and then place them onto your hand. Another way is to just scoop them onto your hand from the back. However, there are a few signs that you should watch for before handling your tarantula. This is called a threat pose and is used to make the tarantula appear larger and hopefully scare away their predators. So if your tarantula is giving you this pose, you probably don't want to handle her. Here's an unusual pet. These are giant cave roaches. They're one of the largest species of roaches in the world. These roaches just had babies. They're fast, but they reproduce slowly. We waited months before these babies were born. The babies don't have wings. They'll grow wings when they mature. We have four roach colonies at our house. We feed them apples, carrots, lettuce, and stuff like that. We also use these water crystals for them to get their water so the babies don't drown. Hedgehogs are fun pets. This is Durian. He was donated to us by a teacher in Corpus Christi, Texas. Thanks, Mrs. Trevino. Hedgehogs are mostly insectivores, which means they eat insects. We feed Durian lots of roaches, crickets, and worms. Hedgehogs also eat a variety of soft fruits and veggies. We occasionally feed durian, bell pepper, apple, mango, and lettuces. Durian needs lots of room to roam in his habitat. He also likes to have toys to play with so he doesn't get bored, and he has this wheel to run on at night. Reggie, our blue-tongued skink, lives in this enclosure. He needs a large habitat. Blue tongue skinks need a heat lamp with a 100 watt bulb. Heat rocks are dangerous and should never be used. Blue tongue skinks also need a UV light. We take Reggie outside to get fresh air and real UV rays as often as we can. If you'd like more information on these critters, check out www.notsocreepycritters.com and like us on Facebook! I've been caring yeah. <laughs> I've been caring for trade. The evenings wait, what do I say?